Let's uh, let's dive into this topic. I have to get your opinion on this because the message boards went bananas. And apparently there was a lot of talk in Oklahoma's bye week about Lincoln Riley's uh, representatives discussing the LSU job last week. And it is still, and now there are reports that he is the leader in the clubhouse. I was a little bit shocked about this, and I, you never know what reports to believe, especially in a coaching search like this. Everybody's got somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Uh, Lincoln Riley to LSU. I, we've talked about it before. I want to hear your opinion on, one, if there's any truth to this, and two, uh, how would you feel? So the only the only way this came out, because I'm, I'm in tune to all of these things, was a private jet, a chartered plane, not LSU's plane, a private plane, flew from Baton Rouge to Norman, to, to Norman, Texas, uh, to Norman, Oklahoma. Sorry, and that that's it. That that's what all of this is spinning from. It, heaven to Betsy that it that it be some you know rich guy that that's going on a hunting trip. Okay, <laughs> like, do you think Lincoln Riley, who's getting ready for probably the biggest game of the year right now? Uh, after Texas with with Baylor and and coming up that he's he's interviewing for another job. I doubt it. I I sincerely okay. doubt it. So so here's here's what here's what I know from the LSU people I follow. Okay, now now this is this is what I know, and they don't make a lot of bold acclam- acclamations, and they don't they don't make a lot of you know big charges or whatever, but they just tell you what they know. Okay. Okay. And. I know for a fact that Woodward has narrowed this thing down to where he really just wants Jimbo. He is trying really hard to sell that to a bunch of boosters that are pissed off at Jimbo from the last negotiations with him. Okay? So, you've got a, you've got a couple of rich guys that have run things for a long time at LSU that do not want him because of the way they feel they were treated in the past. All right? But Woodward is basically all in on Jimbo. That's what he wants. Interesting. Now, if if he can't have Jimbo, his other swing for the fence person right now is being talked about as Lincoln Riley, but nobody actually thinks that's going to happen. I've, I've talked to very few people that are actually in the know that think the Lincoln Riley thing is happening, and half of them don't want it to happen because – the the person that will be the coach if Jimbo doesn't take it, everyone has unanimously said that that I listen to is it's going it's going to be Mel Tucker. Interesting. I love Mel Tucker. I think they'd be a fantastic hire. I do too. No, um, that's that that's not that. So uh, you know how much I feel about Jimbo, and I made that clear. I would love for Jimbo to be my coach. I would love for Jimbo to be my coach. But I, that's with that being said, if I don't get Jimbo. And, and I never thought Jimbo was going to be an option because I know the boosters that he pissed off. And, and I will tell you this. If we hired Jimbo, it, that, I will tell you that the boosters definitely do not run things in Baton Rouge. Okay? Because, because that, that is just one of those strange things where Woodward is just basically going to call their bluff and say, are you going to hate this place? Are you two going to shake hands when he gets here and we're going to figure this thing out? And you're still going to love your school. Like, is your pride that deep? I like it. I like it. I mean, I, but I, but Mel Tucker's the answer. I don't. I think. I think this is all. That whole message board is brought up because a charter plane flew from Baton Rouge to Norman last week. That's it. That's where we spun this whole thing from that to this. That's that's interesting. I, I did not it know the full LSU's details. Plane, by the way, it wasn't the school plane. It's just a private it plane. Was a, it was just a private plane. Flew from Baton Rouge to Norman. I mean, I, really, they could have I, gone I from they could have gone from New Orleans to to Norman. Or okay. yeah, or New Orleans. I don't I don't know where it came from. No, that's, that's, that's what I'm but saying. That, they could have gone from anywhere. Like those boosters yeah. are not just located in Baton Rouge. That's but I, I did see all the chatter, and of course, it, I had to. It get wouldn't your have opinion. been a booster though. They're, they're assuming it was. Wood. But the thing is, is we're at the stage right now where you're not having face to face meetings. You're still talking to agents. Okay, yes. so there'd be no reason to go have personal contact with somebody yet. No, I totally agree. I totally. I do agree. think this though. Here's the deal. I do think if so, if if Alabama loses, Texas A&M wins out. I think they take Jimbo off the table because we will have a coach championship weekend. I 
tend to agree. Believe that also that. that also takes Lincoln Riley off the table, and I don't think anybody believes it. Uh, but, but I don't like I said. I don't think Lincoln Riley matters. I, he's not the option. This is this is a message board, you know, bullshit. That's all that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, but the Mel Tucker thing. If they end up beating Ohio State next week, I I don't. It doesn't matter what Mel Tucker does. Mel Tucker could lose to Ohio State. And he can lose to Penn State. It does not matter. No, agreed. It doesn't I'm matter. If, I think Mel Tucker is going to be the coach of the LSU. I'm saying if they win, those two, they will be in the Big Ten title game. So <laughs> doesn't matter. He's still get, he's he's still going to take the job. Yeah, probably so. I think I think that makes perfect sense. He's still going to take the job, Gary. Makes it perfect. If if offered, he will be the next head coach 